Shrewsbury River and battled Irene's Fury on not one, but two fronts. The Shrewsbury River is beginning to recede, but along the Channel Club Marina, you can see the evidence of the river overflowing its banks. Jellyfish line the parking lot, and boats are being tossed around on the high seas. The homes along the river, they faced an even worse fate. All the houses had, uh, there was water up to the windows and through the doors. A lot, a lot of damage done on that side of that, on that side of town. Irene showed her fury along the ocean side of town as well. Wind took out the staircase to the beach, making it the stairs to nowhere. And massive waves crashed over the sea wall, meeting with the river and flooding much of this town. The water was uh, breaching the sea wall as well and also coming in from the river. So the actual ocean water and the river water were meeting. Tony Garacy's backyard butts up to the sea wall. Now his yard is completely flooded with seawater. It's good news for his kids. They get to take out the boat in the backyard, but he's left with a mess to clean up. We've been here seven years, and uh, we thought we had plenty of protection. I never expected this in the backyard, I'm trying to pump the water out. One pump is not going to do it, and Home Depot and Lowe's are out of pumps. Farther north at the Monmouth Beach Bath and Tennis Club,